So my name's Anthony Okereke. I'm the Cabinet Member for Housing at the Royal Borough of Greenwich. I'm here today to speak to residents about their housing situation. Housing evictions have been paused during the pandemic, so those struggling to pay their rents are protected from being evicted. However, on the 20th of September, the government planned to lift the eviction ban. But I'm concerned that they will be lifting it too early and I'm concerned about what this will mean for residents. As Cabinet Member for Housing, I want to make sure that our residents in the Royal Borough of Greenwich have access to safe and secure housing during this pandemic. During the pandemic, the home has become ever more important to all of us. You know, when I think of myself, um, it was a place for me to shield and keep safe for me and my health. But it will be good to kind of hear your story and, and find out kind of what this eviction ban means for you? I uh, unfortunately left my last employer um, in the, the beginning of this year, thinking that once I leave, I can just start getting temporary work and everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, the pandemic hit, so we got notice on the first of September, um, yeah. and we've we've been asked to leave the building by the twenty eighth. I'm so stressed. I don't know how I'm going to perform at those interviews because I can't sleep at the moment, let alone prepare for a inter job interview. It is just the worst time to evict anybody at the moment. And moving house, is a, it's a really stressful process. It is a stressful process. I'm stressed every day, yeah. packing eight years worth of stuff in that house. Yeah. It scares the life out of me. My son's at school, he's asthmatic. I don't know what's gonna happen to him. I don't know if he's gonna catch it. I've had coronavirus. Yeah. I had it when, in March and I was so bad that I had to go to hospital and then being apart from him for seven days, he's not allowed nowhere near me, broke me, yeah. physically broke me. So this is a great opportunity to kind of understand what all of you think the government should do. And if you can speak to them right now, you know, what would you like to see them do? So I am a key worker, I work in the NHS and I'm in a position now where for me having stable housing is really important. So I've had COVID back in March, I've been very unwell. Having the time and energy to move at the moment, it's just not not going to be there. For me, the home is somewhere, somewhere that you, we have, in this pandemic, we've kind of, it's been more important. Yes. Um, and yeah. during the pandemic, it, for me, I've been shielding and it's been a real place where it's kept me safe and it's kept my health okay. Yeah, I just think it's such a crazy time to evict anyone during this period. It's, yeah. it's such an uncertain and unprecedented time. The support needs to be there. Like, our mental health is so connected housing mm. and when that's taken away it's not like it's just the middle of the winter we've got so much uncertainty anyway and what do you think of um the, the lifting of the eviction ban this next sunday yeah i think it should be prolonged yeah yeah absolutely for another six months at least I yeah think. it's important to extend the eviction ban just to give people some time to find alternative housing where they need to, find employment where they've lost employment and hopefully remain in the community where they live. It's important because it helps and it secures people for now. Mental yeah. health is so closely related to housing and during this time of such uncertainty there needs to be more support in place. Covid-19 has made the housing crisis worse and the result is a housing pandemic. Now is not the right time to be lifting the eviction ban. So we're asking the government to extend the eviction ban and put a proper plan in place to safeguard residents from being homeless. If you're a resident, I want you to know that your council is here to support you. So if you're in a similar situation to what you've heard in here today, I want you to contact us. Thank you.